Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I was just in the midst of a, a long conversation about the, in, the state of entanglement of the dark on certain levels of, of reality right now. Uh, in certain alternate worlds, or you could say in certain timelines. And the people that I was conversing with were in a timeline that that is admired in the dark, where every, uh, every influx of light is met by an equal influx of darkness. Of course, that's always the case, but in this, this particular timeline, um, the dark was very dark and the bright was very bright, you see, so there was more what you'd call duality than in the one that I'm in, which is pretty namby-pamby. There's a little dark and there's a little light and it's like that, see? So, for a while I got uh, caught up in that timeline and thinking what could be done about it and like that. And finally I realized just what I said just then, um, that there's nothing to be done until the light comes in farther, until the incoming light transforms the situation. They're sort of at a stalemate, and of course that's always the case in the fifth dimension. So. I've been attempting to withdraw my attention completely from that with a certain amount of success. I'd say I'm pretty happy. And uh, the, one of the last things that happened is that the person that I was talking to, who is a man who's very, um, he has a desire to act out the extremes of duality in terms of dark and light. And with him was his faithful companion, a woman who supports him in all that he does and sees things very differently from him and sees him very differently from him. So they're a duo, been a duo for decades now and, um, and so they were supporting each other in, in how they are and um, she, at one point she she invited me to come and visit them. So on the astral plane, I called in um, the angels and archangels and, and named them the cherubim, seraphim, the powers, the potentates, and all the Davic kingdom to come to them. And I felt this immense influx of energy, not through me, but through, through them and where they were, guess geographically or astrally. And and then that ended and yet I was still on my side I began to feel the same effect the effect of all of the archangelic realm all around and through me and I asked then how how is this reality to be transformed and this is what I heard this is what I channeled The way is just that. You are all that's happening. And I, I gathered from that that when we fractalize fully, when we fully represent a fractal image, we do it without referring to any other dialogue or any other situation nothing we see and nothing we hear on any plane influences us. We become completely that fractal and in that strength and in that power of co-creation we offer an image that others can can um, can say copy or, or you know create to create that same image themselves with their electromagnetic fields if they wish to. So that was kind of cool. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Pretty cold out here today. <laughs>